Good morning, everybody. It's a rather cold morning down to 43 degrees. Uh, so far, no 30s that I can find in the coastal band. Of course, the humidity is way down uh, as well, and our wind chill uh, makes it feel like it's 35. Now, we don't do the wind chill just to make it feel worse. We just we give you an idea of what the temperature and the you know, wind make it feel on your body. So that's the wind chill and you'll be seeing that for the rest of the winter. Uh, we're looking at winds still rather breezy at about uh, north at 15 to 20 miles an hour. Now look at this. Yesterday afternoon we got up to 82. Then the front came through right on time by the way. And, and today's forecast is for 57. So that's uh, what you call a, a Texas roller coaster on the temperatures. Everybody seems to be in the 40s, down to 43 for us, 42 in Robstown. I don't see any 30s in our area. In fact, the closest 30s we see are up in the San Antonio region up north. The winds, however, are still rather breezy, and that's what's going to make it feel rather cold. So obviously grab your jacket. You're going to be needing it. The old cold front is way down there south of Brownsville. Everybody's uh, completely back into the December pattern. This uh, squiggly line is the freeze line, so everything north of that will likely be below freezing. So it's way up there north of the hill country up in North Texas. So uh, 38 for San Antonio and 42 in Houston. Of course, yesterday when the front came through, we, I mean, we got uh, two, two, two drops. That's about all I saw. And then, uh, but as the front hit all the moisture out over the Gulf, it did trigger some th thunder showers. And here you might have heard it was a big outbreak of tornadoes. You see all these symbols. These are all individual reports of tornadoes that occurred in that area. Well, uh, Louisiana and Alabama are going to get a break today as that thing moves farther east, but there's quite a bit of damage. We'll probably be talking about it in the news a little bit later on. So the front is down south and now we see, okay, what's coming next? Well, this big old ridge of high pressure has built up on the western states. And so it is so large that it is going to be shoving this system up, shoving this system down, and giving us a rather tranquil couple of days. In fact, one little front is forecast in the future, but it's going to be very weak. So all of a sudden, our temperatures are more December-like shall we say, uh, but look at it up north. Uh, 19 in Chicago today will be in the 40s, uh, but it'll be clear and breezy. So windy is the word. Uh, watch out for that. Otherwise, you know, if you've got a little car, you know, you're going to be buffeting with the winds. By tomorrow, the winds will settle down somewhat. By the time we get to Thursday, the winds will be over. We'll watch and wait for that next weather system up there that comes in on Friday, but it's, it's very, very weak. It's not a big uh, frontal system at all. It's basically going to dry up and become a wind shift line. So 57 is as warm as it gets today, and then 58, uh, to 59 tomorrow. Now, tomorrow, um, tomorrow morning, we may be a little bit colder because of the dry air and the clear sky. So we're probably going to be seeing 30s. But then it stays fair and cool all the way through. Friday, a few clouds with that frontal passage, but the weekend is looking very nice, fair and dry, and temperatures hovering between upper 60s to low 70s. That is your seven-day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. Back in a moment with sunrise after this.